being an international student but having American citizenship found it pretty easy to study abroad. I applied for a program in Freiburg, Germany. It was very straightforward. Haverford has a good reputation with these programs. I chose the program because at the time I was, I had just settled on my major of sociology and international studies, double majors, so two. And I was looking for an opportunity in a place that I hadn't been before. And I've never really been to Europe, so I thought, oh, I can do something there. And the program in Freiburg was called the European Union Studies Program. I thought, this is perfect. There's a bunch of travel included as part of the program. It was built into the curriculum. So we would go to an incredible number of places, Athens, Bucharest, London, Paris, Brussels, um, Berlin, as other things, just simply as part of the expected fare of what you'd be doing. And I really enjoyed it. It was excellent. I was with a number of Americans on the program. I was associated with a nearby university and I lived with German students. I, I don't know how else other to say than the cliche of I found my horizons immensely broadened and it was really, really enjoyable. I think one thing I would remark to anyone who wants to study abroad is that one of the greatest threats to your enjoyment or how much you can learn from it is actually kind of the approach that you take. I think some people felt this and I did towards the beginning that like, oh, I have to make the most of this opportunity. So I was constantly kind of judging whatever I was doing. But part of it is just living in a different place and it's hard to adapt to new environments sometimes. And you're already doing a lot. So don't reflect too much or constantly interrogate everything that you're doing, but just take it all in.